Well, today is the last day of school for students in Noblesville, and of course it falls just one week after a seventh grader allegedly shot a teacher and another student at Noblesville West Middle School. And since then, we've seen people rally around that school and the entire community. Our Lisa Raymond is live this morning in Noblesville with a look at the way people have reached out to help. Good morning. Julia Ben, good morning. You might remember these are really cool t-shirts and these were created to help raise money to benefit the two people that were injured in Friday's shooting here at Noblesville West. That's Mr. Jason Seaman and Ella Whistler, a teacher and his student. So we just found out that the deadline for these was extended. It was supposed to end today, but now you could get these t-shirts until Sunday. So we do have all the information on our website, WTHR.com, including a link directly to the site where you can order these. Now, I want to get to this tweet to show you. This is something from Mr. Jason Seaman that he tweeted out on Wednesday night. He said, thank you to everyone who has supported Ella and to everyone that continue to support her. All t-shirt funds raised will go to her and her family. Remember, the, the funds raised for these t-shirts were supposed to go for both of them, but that just goes to show just how much of an incredible man he is, that he wants all of the money raised from these t-shirts to go directly to her and her family. Another tweet that he sent out most recently is that he said the community has been unbelievable. And I think it's pretty safe to say that the community thinks that he is unbelievable. So coming up at 6 o'clock, we're also going to share with you an unbelievable moment that actually happened at the Kenny Chesney concert. Again, that's coming up at 6 o'clock, and you're not going to want to miss this. A big shout out to the Noblesville community as well as Ella Whistler. All right, and it was good to hear yesterday when Ella's parents told her that she is improving, albeit still in the hospital. That's a bit of good news as well. Thanks so much, Alyssa.